Okay, so this time I'm going to be talking about a practice that people should do when they're programming. Um, and this is called commenting. And what commenting is, is basically putting in lines of text that tells you or someone else that's reading your code uh, what your coding does. So here you can see I've got a very simple uh, little uh, program that if I run it I'll just demonstrate what it does. So it's going to ask enter your birth date, so day 23, month 04, year 1995, I've made this up. Um, and what it's going to do is it's going to print our total. So it's just added up the numbers simply, it's just added 23, uh, 23 add 4, uh, add 19, 1995 and that equals 2022. So it doesn't do anything special. Um, but it's just an easy way for me to explain what's going on. So if I um, start here and I'm going to comment every line so we can either do it the line above so I'm, uh, I can put it here or I can go to the end of the line here and I can put the comment there. It doesn't matter where you do it because the program will ignore this code and the way we tell it to ignore this line is by using a hashtag. So you can see as soon as you type a hashtag it turns red. So I can type anything I want here in the computer when we run it will ignore this line. So if I type print hello and I run the program again, hit save, you can see the first thing it does uh, on this side of the screen is enter your birth date however it's our sort of second line of code. So that's because we've typed our hashtag and told it to ignore this line. Okay, so if I was to type it here, print hello, it will still ignore it because it's saying anything after this hashtag ignore. Okay, anything before it, that's fine to print, uh, to run. So whenever we do comments, this is what we use, we use the hashtag. So I'm going to comment above each line. So I'm going to say what this line does below it. So this line will print the text, enter your birth date. Okay, I can do the same for this next line, hashtag. This line will print the text, and uh, was it day, so colon. Okay, this next line does something different. This line creates a variable called birthday and assigns the user's birthday to it. Okay, so you have to be got to kind of think about what you're going to type for these because this line creates a variable called birthday and assigns the user's birthday to it. That's simple enough. Um, if someone doesn't really understand what that means then uh, it, it's possibly questionable why they're, why they're coding in the first place but um, trying to use as little text as possible to explain a line is the best way to go about it. So again this line prints the text. What's it print? It's month colon space. Okay, and then this line does exactly the same. So this line creates a variable called birth month and assigns the user's birth month to it. Okay, and the same happens for these two. So I'm, I'm going to skip them for now. I'm going to focus on this one. So Hashtag this line of code, or sorry, this line creates a variable called total and assigns all of the other variables added together to it. And then finally this line here just simply prints our variable. Okay, so I'll put that in. This line prints our 
variable total. So that's commenting. Another important point is it will not correct your spelling. So if I was to spell variable like that, there is no spelling check inside of any programming language because we can type anything we want in that may not necessarily be a word. So I can say int num 23. Okay, that's not a real word and there's no point it telling us 